Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I just want to say um, that I hope everyone's having a good start to the week uh, despite everything that's kind of happening. Um, I know there's a lot of... Uh, panic happening and a lot of worry and for us we're just kind of trying to take the necessary precautions um, that we can to keep our family um, at a distance or our family safe and healthy. I hope that all of you guys um, that are watching are good, are safe, are healthy. Let me know what you guys are doing in the next few weeks that you know you're gonna kind of keep yourself away from the crowds and away from the stores. Let me know how you guys are planning to keep your family safe and entertained because you know with three kids my husband and I uh, pretty much being at home for the most part we want to figure out some fun stuff to do also just so that it's not too negative in that aspect. You know I don't know how often I'll be able to like get out to shop for these videos so I will be working with a lot of what I have at home already ready um, but still I do want to bring some positivity to you guys and have something for you guys to watch and enjoy if you are self quarantining in this time today's video is going to be a little bit of Dollar Tree and then I do have one thing that I upcycled from Habitat for Humanity Restore which is one of my favorite places to go to find really inexpensive stuff that I can redo uh, if this is your first time here welcome and thank you so much for joining me I would love it if you became part of the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and on one of my last videos I told you guys that I wanted to do some shout outs so if you guys see your name scrolling down the screen shout out to each and every one of you thank you guys so much for tuning in and if you guys do want to shout out and want to see your name rolling down the screen here make sure you guys leave me in the comments down below send me a shout out and I'll be sure to add it onto the next video let's get on to the DIY so for today's video, I'm going to share how I made this setup for my dining room table, starting with the tray, which I feel like it's big enough for the dining room table or my ottoman or even my bed, oven, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to use it, but this is its place for now. So I'm starting out with one of these doors that I bought at Habitat for Humanity for $2. And this is about 23 by 22 inches, and I'm just measuring it out. So. I also did get this hardware. I really like these handles. They're, they're nice and big and each one of them cost a dollar at Habitat for Humanity as well. I was going to use the original screws and screw them, screw them from underneath but I'm going to skip that step and just screw them from the top. So just taking all of the hardware off, the screws that I'm going to use for it are the screws that come with this hardware that way I don't have to you know figure out other screws <laughs> and it did take a little bit of elbow grease to get these out but using my pliers I just took the little ring thing out for that hardware and then also I just took it outside and using this brilliant silver metallic spray paint I went ahead and just slightly spray painted the hardware um, you know what the color scheme that I use is regrettable I feel like I should have done a different color but it's too late now I already did it um, and then also sanding the door down I'm just gonna take all that shine off and I'm using a really crappy hand sander and I need a new one but I'm too cheap um, every time I use this the sandpaper comes off and then you guys can't see it but I actually have a sock to catch all the dust it's super ghetto um hey vote yes if you want me to get a new hand sander so i mixed a little bit of white acrylic paint the apple barrel walmart paint and then also the chalk paint that i used from dollar tree mixed it together made this really nice gray and i feel like i wanted to stain this and Honestly, at this point, I had no idea what the heck I was doing. I was already regretting my decision, but you know what? I went for it. So I gave I gave it one good quote. Quote? What am I talking about? One good coat. And then with my brush, I gave it another coat. And that actually, when I dried it off, it looked really nice. And it had that, like, chalky finish to it. And I ended up spray painting it with that lacquer, which is a semi-gloss. And... Did not like how it turned out. So either way, you guys are seeing what I'm doing. In the end, I might actually change up the colors at a later time. Um, I did it take the white paint and, you know, just made it look distressed with this little Dollar Tree paintbrush. And I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of this color, okay? I feel like it does not go too well with the color scheme that I have already going on. Um, but it was too late. I made my decision. I stuck with it. So let's get on to it. All 
right, for this next one, we're gonna make this super simple family is everything sign, and I am using one of these little bamboo cutting boards from Dollar Tree. I feel like for the longest time I was trying to look for them, and they never come to my Dollar Trees, so I did grab a few. And then I also have these thickers from uh, Tuesday morning that I purchased for $1.99 for each, and they have a bunch of different words. So they are stickers, but since they're nice and thick, um, they are thickers, so that's hence the name I guess so because they're gold I didn't want that shiny gold color showing through and I just went over it with a little bit of acrylic paint And just so you guys know, this paint marker is from Walmart. I had different ideas for this sign. Um, I did end up wrapping it with this cotton twine from Dollar Tree. I was going to add these little green um, rub-on transfer stickers, but they would not transfer onto my bamboo board, so I left them out. And then I was going to add some greenery on the top, but I kept it nice and simple. And then to stand it on, I used one of these little picture frame or plate holder things, also from Dollar Tree. These black ones actually come in a pack of two, one large, one small. I used the smaller one, and then I just painted it with white acrylic paint. This one's gonna be nice and simple and what I like about it is that you guys can take out what's in it. Like I have the little twine balls. You guys can put greenery, a candle, whatever you'd like. And I'm taking this little Dollar Tree planter that I've used for a bunch of DIYs and then one of these bowls from the wedding section. And I'm just gonna paint it the same way with white acrylic paint. I'm gonna give it one nice coat and on the second coat, I'm gonna dab it on there with my brush to give it some texture. All right, so last but not least, we have this really tall vase. I don't know how to feel about it yet. I like it. I don't know if it's too tall or, or what, but you guys let me know. So I'm using this Dollar Tree vase. The little round one over there is newer to Dollar Tree. And then I'm actually reusing this one that I did for a different DIY. So I'm kind of showing you guys the steps to how I painted it. I used uh, that chalky coral color and then the black and a little bit of white to make this gray uh, mix. And just using a brush or like a soft brush, I just stippled it on there. And this is from a different video. So you guys, I'll let you watch the steps that I took, but I will also link the original down below just so you guys can see this one and then the other two DIYs that go with it, which were super cute.
So keeping away from my normal nautical rope, and because I did wrap my other sign in some white um, cotton twine, I'm actually wrapping this in some laundry rope or cord or whatever you want to call it. This thing, I've been using it for a couple years now, um, and I got it at Walmart for like $3. It's the laundry line. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about, the laundry line that you can hang outside for your clothes. And I think it's about 100 feet long, so you're going to get a good amount. And it wrapped this nicely, and I think it looks really Really nice. And then I just added some greenery bundles from Dollar Tree. I never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back while I'm on a one way track. Now I today thank you guys so much for joining me if you did enjoy this video I would love it if you guys gave me a thumbs up leave me your comments down below any questions concerns if you want a shout out make sure you guys let me know down there let me know what you guys have planned for the next few weeks don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one bye